What you guys got another video here for you on how to reset your Windows password if you're locked out of your computer. Now you can see we do have a pin on this computer and it also has a Microsoft account. So how can we gain access to this computer so we can then either rescue our data or we can then rescue our system by resetting our password. So at this stage, we can't really do too much here apart from enter our pin. So I'm gonna show you a way to be able to gain access to your PC by using a WinPE from Hirons. So let's go ahead and what we're gonna do is download that and create our bootable USB flash drive. So you are gonna need a USB flash drive and you're gonna need another computer to be able to create your bootable Hirons boot CD uh, USB flash drive. So what we're going to do is head over to ironsbootcd.org and then download the ISO file that you're going to need to be able to boot to that media. So what we've got here is we're going to get Rufus as well because Rufus is a tool that's going to help us create our bootable USB flash drive. So let me go ahead and download this software right here. There is a portable version which we're going to be using in this video. And it should look something like this. So let's go ahead and select our HBCD ISO file. And I've already done that. I've got my USB flash drive plugged in. I've got all the settings that I need. Partition scheme on this one is GPT. If you're running old legacy hardware, you might want to make that uh, MBR. You will get this box popping up here. It's just telling me that Rufus has detected that the ISO you have selected contains a UEFI bootloader. And uh, secure boot might be enabled and you might have issues booting to it. So you can choose MBR as well. But remember, if that is the case, you might want to disable secure boot just to make sure you boot up to your USB flash drive without having any issues. Once you're ready, click start. And this will go ahead and create our bootable USB flash drive with Hiron's boot CD on it. So I've changed the boot order to boot to our USB flash drive first. And what that's doing is it's loading it up right now. And it looks like you're booting to Windows, but you're actually booting to a WinPE, which is Hiron's Boot CD, which is a Windows pre-installed environment. So we're just going to let that load up. It will take a little bit of time and you should see the splash screen popping up on the screen anytime soon, which will be the Hiron's Boot CD PE. So there we go. We're just going to let that finish off. And once we get to the desktop of Hiron's Boot CD PE, it's going to allow us to use the tools that are also accompanied with Hiron's Boot CD. So we can then use this to reset our password of this PC. Now, a thing to note that this is not actually going to reset your Microsoft account. It's just basically going to reset the password locally so we can gain access to the computer you will still need to reset your Microsoft account with Microsoft officially. So what we're going to do here, you can see there's a ton of tools inside here, which is quite useful for PC repair and other things like that. We're interested in the security section, which has all of the password reset tools that we're going to need to reset our system. So inside security password, we're looking for Windows login unlocker right here. So I'm going to click on this one and this will open up the application. There's three options there. But once this is open, you'll see the Brightech account does have a live ID. It also has a pin on there. So like I said before, we can gain access to the PC, but it's not going to completely remove the password from our Microsoft account, which is stored on Microsoft servers. This is only resetting the password locally so we can gain access. So then you can go about resetting your password. So to do that, what you can do is either use the bypass button down on the bottom, or you can use the reset and unlock button, depending on which way you want to go about it. They both do the same thing and you will basically get to the desktop of your computer. So here is the buttons right here. So this button here will do it as well. But what we're going to do is use the bypass in this one which allows you to bypass the Windows user passwords. This feature allows you to bypass the Windows password for the account without changing the current uh, password. It works in a temporary basis by disabling uh, that password, so it gains access to the PC. 
This is a one-time deal. As soon as you reboot the PC again, the pin number will pop back up on the screen. So let's go ahead and click OK and restart the computer right here. And once we restart the PC, it's going to go straight into Windows. So you can see the, the actual Live ID and the uh, pin is still enabled. So let's reboot now. So all we need to do here is restart the PC, remove the flash drive. And if you've changed the boot order, you will need to change that back to boot to your Windows partition. So you can see we're booting into Windows right now. And hopefully once we get to the login screen right here, we're logging into the system. And there we go. We now have down on the bottom left hand corner our account, which I've blurred out. And I can sign into this account now, like so. And once we've done this, it should take us to the desktop. Now remember what I said, the Microsoft account is still secure. You will not be able to reset it and go into a local account at this stage because the password is still on the system. All we've done is gained access to the computer. The Microsoft account is still intact, as you can see here. If I try to sign in with a local account instead, it's going to ask me for my password for my Microsoft account. And if you don't know that, you'll need to reset a forgotten Microsoft account password with Microsoft. This is to stop uh, theft of laptops and other things like that. So basically all you're doing here is temporary resetting the password to gain access to the PC. So you can follow through with the resetting of your Microsoft account. If you've got two factor authentication and all that sort of good stuff, you should be able to reset your account very, very quickly. At this stage, the Microsoft account password is still intact for the actual account itself. So at this stage, if you don't know the Microsoft account password, you would have to hit the reset password button here and then go through and recover your account in this way by putting your phone number in, your email or Skype name or whatever it is you've set it up with. This is the only way you're going to be able to remove that Microsoft account off that computer unless you reformat the PC. So you can either back up your data and reinstall Windows, or you're going to have to recover your account by using the recover your account method like I'm showing you on the screen. That's basically how you can gain access to your computer, reset your password or bypass your password on a Windows 11 based system or even Windows 10 by using this method. It works pretty well. And if you don't believe me or you're wondering what will happen if you just sign out of your account, like I'm going to show you right here, when I sign out of this account, it will sign me out and it will ask for the pin to gain access to the computer. You've not officially signed out yet until you put in your pin. And of course, you wouldn't have known that otherwise you'd have signed in in the first place. Anyway, hopefully this will help you out to gain access to your computer. You will still need to recover your password. My name is Ben Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Just want to say a quick shout out to all my YouTube members who have joined my YouTube members group. I really do appreciate the support. Have a lovely weekend and I will catch you in the next video. Bye for now.